This is really exciting! This is very exciting! I'm very excited! Ah! Right, let me check if everything's working. <laughs> you know, you know them laptop streams. They always get, they always get, uh, a little bit, you know, a little bit feisty. Oh my goodness! Okay, that sounds that sounds like it's gonna be okay. <laughs> Famous last words. <laughs> I'll get my phone back up in case. Right, there we go. Whee! But hello! You guys! Ah! 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 Hello, Hess! Hello, the chill! How are y'all lovelies doing today? Yo! We are in a game! A hype! Yeah? Yeah? <laughs> but yes, welcome in to Alice Nano Reno 2022. Look, look, we gone, we gone, we gone get distracted real quick. Nailed it. Boom. Not playing near replicant. Don't mind that. Okay. <laughs> so welcome to Alice Nano Reno. Let me know if the sounds all okay, all of that good stuff. But yes, this was a game made by a significantly, significantly wonderful crew uh, as part of Nano Reno 2022, which is a game jam focusing on making a visual novel in a month. And um. I was hugely, hugely, hugely honoured uh, to be cast as part of this wonderful, wonderful team and crew. Uh, let us peruse the site very quickly. And what's up, Bakura? How you doing? Who are you? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> we're, we're, we're getting there. We're getting there. We got, we got to build it up. Uh, I approve of your desktop backgrounds. Thank you. They are both. They are both. They are both this because it's beautiful. But look at this, first of all, Sasha did such an amazing job with this art. Like, holy heck. Um, the whole team, amazing. Um, Alice yearns for a life past false betrothals that leaves her a trophy to be shown. Her life takes a turn for the unexpected after she follows a strange pale girl with rabbit ears into a hole. Thank you for the 150 bonk yes. She awakens in a new world. With cute girls, anthropomorphic animals, and hot women? Features 16,000 words, three roots, three CGs, which are very beautiful. I have spoiled myself. Uh, 500, approximately 500 voice lines. And we are at some point hoping to do a fully voiced version. So keep your eyes peeled on that. Uh, original soundtrack and a literal cat call. Come on, just play the game. This is currently, uh, it's an art like a full art piece um, for completing a route. Um, this is currently available. You can go and play this and get this right now um, for absolutely free. You can download it. It's really easy. My, my Jankas laptop can run it. So can yours. <laughs> so we've got all these beautiful arts. Look at these beautiful arts. Oh my goodness. Look at all these characters. There's so many of them. And they're so beautiful. Look at this art. My god. So we have Alice, who we, we will be playing as. We've got the wonderful Bunny, voiced by EJ Callahan. We've got Kat, voiced by Dory Murdoch Patterson. We've got Maddie, voiced by Ariana Rosario, who will be our first route because everyone voted for it in the Discord. Um, Alice's sister, played by Ma Megan Newmans, with the Caterpillar. Um, I, I don't know anything about the Caterpillar. I'm very excited about this. Uh, the March Hare, voiced by Ty Coker. The Dormouse, voiced by the wonderful Marie Cheney. And then, oh shit! Oh no! It me. Oh heck, it me. Oh no. 
Um, we have the guards, voiced by Jeremy Bacat, um, who, fun fact, is also going to be in uh, the Foes Night, so that's exciting. Um, Tweedledee and Tweedledum, both by Donna Ja, and the flowers, both by nobody, because they're flowers. Flower noises! <laughs> so yes, huge, 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 huge shout-outs to this wonderful crew. Sasha, Brian, Sarah, Oishi, um... Rajan did <laughs> Rajan was like, oh, I, I proofread it as much as I can. Eliana, freaking wonderful, wonderful creator. Go and send them love. Um, Gwyn, Georgia, Thomas. Georgia was my personal voice over designer. Amazing, amazing, amazing work. Um, and everyone was just so freaking lovely. So, oh, I keep putting a girl down the hall and become even gayer. So we're here for this. Yes, it's a, it's a sapphic visual novel, um, which is focused on the girl loves. We love, we love to see it. Yo, we go and, we go and embrace. Be, be the good ally. <laughs> and I know his woman love, yes. Oh yes. We're gonna get super gay and, and be love, and it's gonna be beautiful. I'm so excited for it. And look at this screen! Like, this is in itself just so beautiful. I can just look at this up there. That's so good. But anyway, I am yet to play this at all. I have seen art, I have seen the scenes, I have seen parts of the script. Um, <laughs> I have screamed various things. You can probably have a good guess at what those things are. Um, so, let us get into it. <laughs> I'm so excited! I'm so excited! Oh, what, what voice should we go for Alice? Should we go very... We need to make it distinguished from the voice I did. We'll go with this. We'll go with this. Yes. <sighs> Alice. <gasps> <laughs> Not me already getting excited. And the wonderful people that worked on this. Oh my god. Yes? Were you listening? Uh, uh, no. Alice, this is important. I is it? Dad is worried about you. Five handsome and powerful men want to marry you. And all you can do about it is hide away from their advances. Oh, yeah. Can you blame me, though? That's not all I do. And humiliate them. Ah, that's more like it. I'm not interested in getting a husband right now. The only reason why I get these, all these propositions is that Father wants at least one of us to marry us, marry soon. Can't read. Help. Why don't you do it if you find them all so incredible? I'd love to. But sadly, I'm too busy with my studies. Mm hmm I'd love to. Don't mock me. I'm serious. I love pursuing my academic studies. And I made the conscious choice to postpone marriage in order to do so. But that doesn't negate the fact I fantasize with a fiancé like your pursuers. If you want to escape marriage so much, why don't you go to college like me? Even Daddy can forgive not having a secured lineage in the name of education. Sciences bore me and art is too pretentious nowadays. And like everybody knows, one can only study science or art. Exactly. Regardless, Alice, I think you should reconsider your position in this matter. All of these men are highly desired. I don't think you realize it. When I told Jessica that Duke Limstrong himself sent Duke you flowers, Limstrong. she almost fainted. Duke Limstrong! <laughs> and Lily Ugh. quite literally cried when she learned you had rejected that prince last month. She oh. always dreamed about marrying a prince. He'll get over it. I try to focus on paying attention to her, but I quickly zoom out while I look at the dirty ground. As we walk, something caught my attention. A white, small figure that I don't get to distinguish passes me by the side like a gust. By the time I turn around, the figure has squished her way between the much taller people and street stuff. <gasps> oh, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? What do we do? Quick! Vote! Go fast! 
What do we do, guys? <laughs> Sister. <laughs> What's up? What's up, Aldous? How are you doing today? Sister. Sister. I'll stay by my sister's side. All right, we have one for each. The next one decides it. This is this is a group experience. We're going if we're gonna go down a rabbit hole, we're going down together. This is a group. Touch grass, unfortunately, is not an option. But we're... <laughs> Hess, make a decision. Hess is like, I don't know, I don't know. So many decisions. Oh, so alluring. <laughs> Right. I I say me. <laughs> we gon' we gon' follow in, house. We gon' follow in. It's all good. <laughs> it's all good, Alders. I hope you do well. Follow. All right, we're going. We're going. I also squish myself between the people in the street while I follow the figure. I start slow. I'm sure if I should continue, but every time I spot a white shimmer in between the crowd, I get a rush of energy that makes me go faster. I don't know why, but I want to catch them. It's not like doing so would change something. The person stops for a moment and seems to look around, like she's scanning her surroundings. That's enough for me to get closer. Ah, I love the art so much! Our eyes meet and we both stop, but also everything else stops. The people, the cars, the sound itself. Her eyes move fast, like she's looking at my face by parts instead of focusing on, on one. I can see her chest getting bigger and smaller, agitatedly. I get the feeling she's out of this world and I'm the only one who can see her. I open my mouth to tell her I don't want to hurt her, but the moment I move, she flees, scared. Wait! I turn in the same block she did and continue to chase her. Oh, we going! Oh, we going! I notice now that she has bunnies that move around as she runs. She's also really fast. Once again, she disappears. Except this time there are no people or metal stuff, but trees and plants. Trees. I stopped to look around me. Trees. I hadn't seen one of these in real life before. A clean gust of wind brushes my face. I take a deep breath. I would have never done that outside from home. The fumes of the city are extremely unpleasant to inhale. I get closer to the trees from the, the girl disappeared from and go between them. doing good yeah need them need them good recovery rests we're doing well thank you i fell into something hard and extremely uncomfortable a sack full of small and tough little things that move under me like small rocks as i move they sound like metal sticks hitting each other when i look up i see it makes no sense i'm still alive the hole is so deep the entrance is but a mere shine of light oh please get up a nervous voice talks to me. The hole is dark, but I can still distinguish that she is the pretty girl I was following. I do as she asks me to, feeling the pain in my butt as I rise from the sack. She rushes to open it and reveals a bunch of metal things, nuts and bolts, clock wheels and dials, some undistinguished metal plates strangely shaped. I didn't mean to. I, I mean, I, I did follow you on purpose, but I, I didn't want to break your things. <gasps> oh. Oh, no. Oh, she mad. Oh, my God. <laughs> she's she's mad. What are we going to do, friends? What are we doing? Are we, are we gonna be, are we gonna be mean? Are we gonna be nice? What's going on? If not, we're just gonna go for a random choice. 
All right. Uh, I'm I'm sorry. She 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 looks mad. I don't want to piss her off more. Um, sorry. Oh, well, uh, I can't get angry if you apologize like that. <sighs> I'm rabbits too. She kneels in front of the metal pile, trying to scatter anything that may work, putting the pieces together just for them to fall down to the ground. I go next to her to help her with it, but as I realize as soon as I put my hand in the pile of stuff that anything that used to move or had a function is far gone. Oh! Your hand! I look down to where her gaze is. My prosthetic hand. It was made by my sister, this and every single previous prototype she had created since age 10. I move its fingers in part to show her and partly to remind myself what it's capable of. The amazing and revolutionary imitation of human movement. That's what she called it. It's pretty amazing, isn't it? My sister made it for me. She's top of her class. Is that... an artifact? I think so. Can I have it? What? No! Please! You broke all my stuff! Yeah, and I apologized for it. I am not going to give you my hand. <gasps> hey, what's up, Neo? How's it going? Welcome on in. I hope you're doing well. <laughs> How's it going today? I'm so excited to play this. <laughs> I hope you're doing good today. Yes, very, very much welcome on in. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Please do join us. <laughs> I hope you're doing well today. Um, um, we'll, we'll be, we'll be chill, we'll be chill. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, but I can't just take it off. It is connected to my arm through wires and stuff. That's what makes it move well. I mean, their prosthetics can be removed. Uh, this is just not one of them. Oh, uh, I see. Uh, can I ask why you want me to take it off? The, the Queen of Hearts sent me on a mission to your world to find artifacts. She is obsessed with them. I'm a little bit. I can't help it. Can't you go back and get more? My sister has a lot of these th kinds of things in her studio. Uh, you, you can take you can take some. Oh, was... <laughs> you could take some. That would be nice, but my gem broke in the fall. Oh no! Aw, oh, thanks. And thank you for the follow. It fun. was what allowed me to hop between worlds and travel fast. Now I'm stuck walking. Ooh, don't need that. But I jumped with you and I don't have a gem. Oh, that's because you entered through the same portal I created. It must be closed now. Wait, does that mean I'm stuck here? It seems so. Please, oh. I, I, I need you to come with me so I can show your hand to the Queen. She doesn't tolerate incompetence and, and those who fail her get... She freezes completely with tears in her eyes. This queen must be really scary. <laughs> Little do they know. <laughs> he had it. Oh no! What? That's crazy. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not, I'm not that mean. I'm pretty sure. Hey, if all you need to not be, well, beheaded, is for me to show my hand to the queen, then I'll go with you. Will you do that for me? Yes! <laughs> okay, let's go! Oh. Oh, I'm so excited for this! She gets up as if nothing happened and takes me by the arm. We start walking towards the cave's exit, which I hadn't noticed before. Oh, uh, where? To the Queen's Palace! We have to go by foot, remember? We go outside where the sunlight blinds me for a minute. When I look around, it seems we are in a continuation of the forest I fell from. However, the colours are more intense and some plants look weird. Not that I know much about green things. She's let go of my arm, but I continue to follow her. She has a map in her hands. I'm not sure where she got it from. Okay, this is going to be hard without my gem, but if we follow the path without making any weird turns, we should be at the palace's door before the sun sets. She's so good. She's so good. <laughs> uh, excuse me? Oh, uh, right, sorry. Introductions. I'm Bunny. I'm human. <laughs> no, I am funny. <laughs> I'm also a punny. You see, my parents had a funny sense of humor. Oh, I see. 
Well, I'm Alice. Nice to meet you. We walk mostly in silence for a while. Bunny is too focused on following her map while I look around with wonder. It is then when I notice two flowers looking at me intensely. Oh, heck. I stop walking without truly realizing to return their stare. Hello. I expect them to answer, but they don't. Bunny, what are the... Bunny? She's nowhere to be found. I continue walking through the path. She must be close. As I go deeper into the forest, I start noticing more and more flowers looking at me. Hello there. Hello there. <laughs> I don't know why I made it. So. It's, it's on the mind. It's kind of everywhere, you know. <laughs> Hello there. We'll go with it. I hear a voice, except I don't really hear it. It sounds exactly like my own subconscious, and also kind of, kind of like Obi-Wan Kenobi. Like it is coming from my own mind. Ah, uh, hello. She is huge and colorful, but even more strangely, she doesn't open her mouth at all. The caterpillar smokes from a long and thin pipe. However, the smoke is not disgusting. Instead, it's almost like a floral fragrance. Alice, what are you doing here? Uh, how do you know my name? I know a lot of things, child. Like that you don't belong here. When she talks, I can feel pressure in my body. The smoke surrounds me, threatening. Who says that? You? Wh why? why should it matter what you think? Not me, Alice. Nature. The smoke becomes more and more unbearable. It reminds me of the factory's fumes. You cannot escape forever, Alice. Yes, I can. Alice. Shut up. Alice. That's enough, Caterpillar. <gasps> Let her go. Oh, heck! Who's this? Who's this? <laughs> I feel the pressure dissipate immediately and I can breathe freely again. I cannot believe it. Doing that to a defenseless lady. You should be ashamed of yourself. Ah, but it felt so good! I look towards the woman that saved me. She stands there, confident to my side. Well, that's not a good excuse, is it? I notice now the creature is talking to the woman, but I can't hear what she is saying. There's no need for her to go back this soon. Don't worry. The woman extends her hand towards me and I instinctively take it. She seems so confident and protective that I don't second guess my trust. With the other hand pushing my lower back, she guides me to the path. Only then did I realize I had made a turn instead of continuing going forward. The woman still faces the caterpillar. Our eyes hadn't met yet even when I was almost all always looking at her face. I'll take care of her. Oh, she... While she says that, I feel her squeezing my hand as she pushes me forward. She crouches slightly to whisper in my ear. It's cat. Fight away. <laughs> Alice. My heart misses a beat. She is. Oh, well, I, I can't. I, I can't. I can't say, look. <laughs> I can't say that. This is very charming. Is it? Is it a lot for a first meeting? Yeah, but I mean, compared to this caterpillar, for it's like this is pretty chill. You did a great job, hot stuff. She tends to be alluring. Whoa! Hot, hot stuff. What I wonder is what you were doing all alone in a place like this. Caterpillar's not the only danger out there, you know. Come with me. I'm going to take you somewhere safe. My house is near. Uh, wait. <laughs> I'm sorry. I realize that a complete stranger inviting you to their home can be weird. At least, tell me where you were going so I can take you there safely. Uh, it, it's not that. Uh, it, it's just that I'm actually looking for someone. I mean, we got separated. Oh. Poor thing. Who are they? I know one or two people around here. I could help you find them. Their name is Bunny. 
the face crack. Oh my god. Her face changed completely. There are many bunnies. How does she look? Uh, well, she is all white and wears a pretty blue skirt. <laughs> yeah, that's her. Y you know Bunny? Like I said, I know one or two people around here. And Bunny doesn't exactly <gasps> like me. What? Is there drama between them? She goes around telling everybody that <gasps> apathetic and agnosious and other words I don't really know the meaning of but I know they are bad Aww. damn that's that's rude that's she, I don't see why she would say that gee I wonder why my god the beef uh, I don't think you should mind what she says. So cute. Do you really think that? Uh, uh, Anyways, uh, uh, regardless of where she uh, was uh, taking uh, you, <laughs> you are going to have much more fun with me. <laughs> Let's go. Cat holds my arm, but a shout interrupts us. Alice! Uh-oh. Uh-oh! <laughs> it's Bunny who comes running towards us. Cat lets me go and puts her hands in her pockets. Bunny recognizes her immediately, and her demeanor also changes. I can see her straightening her back even more and raising her chin. Hello, Bunny. Uh-oh. Cat, I see you have met Alice. I hope you weren't a complete annoyance to oh her. Oh my god! <laughs> Damn! Um, uh, <laughs> she, she wasn't. Uh, she wasn't an annoyance. She was actually really nice to me. She saved me. Anyways, it was a pleasure to see you again, Cat. Atlas and I have to continue our travel to the Queen's Palace. The Queen's Palace. Alice, you shouldn't go there alone. The Queen is one scary woman. Look, blasphemy. Well, the good news is that she is not going alone because I'm coming with her. Yes, because a dwarf with personality issues is a good companion, isn't it? Oh my god! What was that? Oh my god! <laughs> All I'm saying is that either you are an unbearable brat that wants to boss everybody uh around, <laughs> or you have the confidence of a child with mommy issues. Look, people are calling. Look, people are slandering the queen, being like she's really dramatic, right? Not compared to this. Holy heck! Pick one. Oh, <laughs> uh, th th that's ridiculous. You have absolutely no reason to think that, right, Alice? Please don't fight. Fight, <laughs> Alice. I'm too civil to do such a thing. It is meaningless. <laughs> That's right. I would destroy her. Well, it does suit you to be like that. How does that suit me? Stop it! I don't want to go if you two are going to act like that the whole way. You don't need to worry about that, Alice, because she is staying. Aw, thanks! Hey, thank you for the follow! I hope you're doing well today. And who is going to protect Alice when your queen goes all crazy mode again? Well, I could, I could, I could try to do that. Great, then who is going to protect her when you fail at that? You know what, Alice? Why don't you choose who you want to go with? Uh, who I want to go with? I want to go... Oh! Who are we going with? One, two, or three! Bunny cat are alone! Put your votes in chat now! Oh my goodness! Heck! <laughs> Mommy issues has head entered the chat. <laughs> cat? Here we go, one vote for cat. Two votes for cat! Oh. Oh. One vote for bunny, two votes for cat. <laughs> I'm a bias. <laughs> so good. Alright, go on, go on once. 
Going twice. Going with cat. Bam. With cat. <laughs> Don't worry, Bunny. I'll deliver her to you at the door of the Queen's Palace. Cat once again holds me to guide me to continue the path. She's delicate, but ensuring. Oh, we'll do we'll do bunny we'll do bunny next time. We'll, we'll probably do multiple playthroughs of this. It's all good. I'll do a quick save actually. Boop. I look at Bunny, who is who looks an as anxious as always. I raise my hand to say goodbye, and we continue walking through the forest. Great bunny. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> she, that's it now. She's not in the rest of the story. She gets she gets lost in the forest, and that's it. Oh no. Don't worry, Bunny. We'll see you in a minute. Alice, are you sure you want to go to Hard Palace? I don't know why you're going, but if it is for Bunny, you don't owe her anything. I fell into a hole and crushed all her stuff. She says the Queen is going to behead her if I don't go and show her my hand. Well, that's on brand for her. Here, take this, just in case we get separated. She put something in my hand. A sleigh bell? Yes. If you are ever in danger and I'm not around, just make a ring, and I'll know where to find you. I see. Thank you. No problem, sweetie. Let's get going then, shall we? Cat leads the way to the Queen's Palace. The walk was taking a while, so I decided to start small talk. So, Cat! Uh, why don't you and Bunny get along well? Oh, well, she's such a spiteful rabbit. I don't get why she had to throw all the insults at me. Oh, uh, we'll, we'll we'll side with her because we had we had the split vote, so let's, let's yeah we'll, we'll play play both sides. <laughs> kind of like her though. Which part of her spiteful attitude and stuttering speech do you like? Well, she's not that much of a bad person, you know. Sure. Is it all bad memories with Bunny? Well, to be honest with you, we were not such foes when we were younger. She was such a cute rabbit and never threw me any insults. We loved to play hide and seek together. I would win all the time except when I went easy on her just because she seemed to be eager to win the game. We also used to partake in a tea time together with Maddie, quite the eccentric character I might add. But then uh, there's her silly family heritage of serving the Queen of Hearts. I never liked the queen, so no, I don't like her. That highly demanding woman never appeases me, let alone that she always threatens people and orders them with this and that. Oh well, yeah, of course, she's the queen. Oh. Oh no! <laughs> oh! She wasn't paying attention to the path and almost crashed into a tree. To my surprise, she disappears before my eyes and comes back in front of that same tree. <gasps> Oh, mad? Just a little thing I got from my mama. You can go through stuff? Oh no, I can't do that. I make myself invisible. I didn't go through the tree. I just went round it. Why did you make yourself invisible to do that? I didn't do it on purpose. Sometimes if I get scared or surprised, it just happens. Does that mean you actually crash into the tree? For the sake of my ego, I'm going to ignore answering that. Anyways, uh, you were saying about Bunny? That's unpleasant to talk about. Let's move on to another topic. Ooh, um... Oh, heck. Oh, heck. Ooh, I want them to be friends. I don't want there to be so much drama. Well... Cat, I don't like the Queen of Hearts either, but since you two were such close friends before, don't you think that it's better if both of you talk about the matter in an open manner than find ways to reconcile and have common ground? You're such a sweetheart, Alice, wanting us to reconcile and all. I just think that maybe Bunny starts to despise you because she also has her side of the story. You're probably right. No worries, hot stuff. Your wish is my command. I guess I've rambled Ooh. enough about me and Bunny. It would be fair if you returned the favor and told me more about yourself. 
and that lovely hand you have there. Oh, heck. Oh, ho, ho. Uh, all right, I'm sorry. Well, I live with my sister who studies automata making. Now that's an interesting story. Tell me more. She specializes in making machines, robots, and mechanical prosthetics. I roll up my sleeve to show my automata arm clearly. I was born without a hand, but my sister refined her prosthetic automata prototype so she could give me and other people better lives by helping reclaim what was lost, whether by birth or other circumstances. What a lovely sister you have there. She must be really smart. Yes, out of all of all family, I love her and appreciate my sister and what she's done to guide me throughout my life. However, it does become tiresome when my parents and sister keep sending potential male suitors for me to marry off. What do you mean with male suitors? Do you probably favor any of those trolls? Out of all the five candidates, none of them. <laughs> well, well. That's quite amusing. No amount of looks, wealth, status, or entire being interests me to the slightest. It's honestly sad to see them try and fail to amuse me. If only my sister could fulfill my parents' wish for an arranged suitor, but she's married to her work. Quite bothersome, I can say. Those trolls must have been desperate to gain your favor. Uh, tell me about it. At least this place has far more interesting people here. <laughs> Glad I'm able to accompany someone as engaging as you. Oh? Oh? Oh. Engaging, you say? Ooh. I mean... She is, but we... we... We have we had the vote in the in the Discord. We we have set our sights elsewhere for this run. Well, yeah, yeah. Hey, uh, suppose so. Any stranger in this mad land can suffice. Cool. I mean I mean as you know, is we'll we'll romance you at some point, don't you worry. Uh oh. The voice was from a young girl, talking in between tears and gasps to another girl in front of her, who's identical except for shorter hair and a small scar on the side of her face. A crying woman is holding a bunch of hairs. I didn't do anything to you. That's my hair. Don't act all innocent! You knew exactly what you were doing! Is that so? What was I doing? You are sabotaging our act because you are selfish and bitter that I am the protagonist. Not everything has to be about you, D. Don't talk to me. Oh. No, oh. you oh. don't talk to me. Oh my god. I need to find a way to glue all of this together. Two sisters fighting. Let's see if we can help them. Cat nods to me and we get closer to them. I think it's better if we talk to them separately. Hi! Oh, hello. I'm sorry I can't sign any autographs right now. I'm busy. We're not looking for autographs. Uh, we heard you fighting and we wanted to know if we could help you two make up. Well, a little intrusive, don't you think? <laughs> Dang! In any case, there. there's nothing I can do. She is the one who's obsessed with messing all up. I heard you are a protagonist of something? She seems to like the opportunity to talk about it. I notice she's holding a handkerchief cloth with the name D embroidered. Well, yes! We have this little act which is extremely popular. It's about a princess, me, who sits on the side of a river and sings about her broken heart. But then, her reflexion, my sister over there, comes to life and sings too. It's a beautiful piece. I can imagine. You said something about she being jealous? Yes. It's really sad, but since the last few months, she has gotten more and more bitter that I'm always the princess. And now she does this! She knows the whole point of the act is that we look the same. Oh. Uh... Uh, uh, how long have you been doing it? How long have you?
you been doing this act? We started when we were five. Twenty years and counting. Oh, heck. Whoa, five... Isn't five extremely young? What can I say? We are prodigies. Oh, man. Um... Uh... I mean, that's a long time. You, you should probably swap, swap roles in, here and there. Why don't you let her be the princess once in a while? I have actually told her I didn't mind. And? She doesn't want to. Oh, no! How confusing! Uh... Are you sure she cut her head to sabotage the act? Of course! There could not be another reason. I mean, maybe she's trying to... Hair is precious to a woman. Why would she cut it just like that? Maybe, maybe she's trying to, like... Find her own way. Maybe it's her own path. I've just realized the cursor is a little A. That's really cool. I love the cursor anyway, but yeah. Damn. She looks at me nervously. It's not that there's anything wrong with having short hair. It's just that... No worries, I take no offense. Um. Okay, I'm gonna sort to you, sir. That's exactly how Alice said Good it. Good luck with that. Thank hey, you. Hello, I was just talking to your sister. And you are who? Oh, sorry, I'm Alice. Dumb. Listen, I don't care what my sister told you. You won't solve this. Uh. Please let me try. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, is it true that you cut your head to sabotage the act? We need like the Phoenix Wright music for this. No. Well, I don't know. I wanted to cut it so bad for so long. Regardless, I won't miss that act. Why did you cut your hair then? I want to separate myself from her. Ooh. I'm tired of everyone projecting her onto me. Uh, uh, this is uh, not the way to phrase it, but are you jealous of your sister? Again with that, I'm not. She thinks you are. I'm not. Oh, uh, yeah, there's a reason though. Hang on. Dumb is impossible to deal with, isn't she? No. Um... Well, there's no point in her cutting her hair because her sister wants to feel independent. Why doesn't she just wear a wig and then they swap? That seems, that seems like a good compromise. I think I know. Sure. Why not? I think I know how to solve this. I doubt it. Yeah, me too. <laughs> oh, quick save. I have an older sister, and every time we would fight, our mum would make us see eye to eye with this technique. One says what is bothering them, the other does the same, and they both say what should be done to fix it. Are they not going to say anything? Hear me out. You don't have to do anything. I'll do all of it. <clears throat> First, what bothers D is that she feels uh ooh. she feels dumb as jealous of her. Is true. Okay. Is not. Now, but that's what she feels, dumb. You can't. You can't. Not what she feels. Second, what bothers dumb is that she's tired of being seen the same way as her sister. But is that true? You don't want to be seen the same as me? And finally, the solution is... That they should hug. Um... But she's already said that. And it's not about that. Dumb should explain why she feels this way. Yeah. I mean, that's not the solution, but it might help. Dumb should explain why she feels this way. There's nothing for Dumb to explain. I believe all is pretty clear. Hey, my man. Oh! 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 Wait, she's right. You believe I'm jealous when I'm not, and there is a question you ask me I need to answer. I'm not jealous of you being the main character, Dee. I, 
I hate that our whole thing is that we are identical. Why? What is so wrong with that? Because I don't... I don't feel the way you like to feel, okay? I... I... I hate it. When you go out there and I can hear people whisper how beautiful and delicate and feminine you are. It doesn't make me sad because I'm envious. Aww. It hurts me because I don't want to be seen as that. And I'm always seen as what you are seen. Then what kind of woman do you want to be? I'm not a woman. Dum dum. I'm not going to continue with our act anymore. D hugs her, much to Dom's surprise. Eh, it was getting old. You do like opera still, right? I love opera, and I love singing with you, Dee Dee. The sisters let go of the embrace. I'm sorry that I didn't try harder to understand you. Well... Now you know, and I'm so happy that you know me better. I do. Thank you, Alice. I didn't do anything. Well, dumb. <laughs> we should start practicing a new act right now if we want to perform in front of the Queen on time. Wait, you're also going to see the Queen? Yes! We're going to show her our amazing act that we... Oh. Right. We are going to show her something new. Yes. We should all go together. Thanks, but we're going to stay here practicing. But go ahead, we will meet again at the palace. Oh, Cad, aren't you going to say hi? <laughs> Sorry, D, I didn't want to interrupt. I see, so you're going to the palace too. I thought you hated the queen. Well, that hasn't changed. Then why? Oh, let me guess. How chivalrous of you to guide Alice. Should I think of her as a rival? Oh, oh, oh! The plot thickened. The plot thickened. <laughs> Alice, family counselor. <laughs> Are you having family issues? Call Alice. She fell down a hole and broke a rabbit's bunch of stuff, and now is available for consultancy. <laughs> Don't be mean. I won't. Alice? It, yes? You're a good girl for sure, but I'm not just gonna let you win, you know? It, it, is she? She thinks Kat and I are something? This also means she and Kat. Oh no! Oh no! Discord voted for the queen. Not for the queen. Discord voted for Maddie, so, so, oh no, I'm sorry. It's nothing, it's no. Good thing I'm not interested. Oh, well, I wasn't expecting that. Good for me then. I'd like to hang out after the act, Kat. It seems I'm free. Oh, I'm sorry, it's nothing personal. It's nothing personal, I'm so sorry. We continue down the path. Cat looks down. What's going on, Cat? Nothing. Do you have a lot of girls that like you? A few. What can I say? Most girls fall for me when I talk. And I can understand that. To the point, naming a list of girls that have never shown interest in me would be easier than the other way around. Damn! I see. Uh, is the... <laughs> is the queen on that list, or...? I don't even want to think about what that would look like. <laughs> oh, we're here! Cat, <laughs> Cat and I make our way towards the Queen's Kingdom. We see Bunny pleading to a pair of guards. Made of guards. Ironically, not the strangest type of people I've seen so far, yet I have a bad feeling about those guards. I rush towards Bunny with Cat following behind. P please, just... Be patient a little longer and my friend Alice will appear with the advanced mechanism. I grow tired of your futile attempts at stalling. Your tardiness and your failure to achieve your duty to the Queen is deserving of capital beheading. Oh no! Oh no! What? Hey! 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 
Whoa there, guys. Take it easy now. No need for any messy beheadings. Alice! We get closer to him. Sorry for being late. My name is Alice, and this is Cat. We're here on Bunny's behalf. Bringing a most dazzling artifact from another world. You're right there. You're hanging on with us. <laughs> we are well aware of this devious feline's existence. Why is she defiling our royal territory with her presence? First of all, harsh. Second of all, Bunny entrusted me to protect Alice from any danger. I'd say I did a pretty good job being her guardian angel and keeping the queen's task in check. You see, Bunny is utterly useless because she relied on a deviant to do her own tasks and avoid responsibility. What a disappointment of a royal subject. Hmm. All right, we will escort all of you to the throne room. This way. <gasps> oh, my house is cool. <laughs> Like my house, damn. Thank you for saving me. I do apologize for being a burden. Don't look so gloomy, B. You know we don't want your anxious and nagging head to be heading afar. I take back my thanks. You truly are the worst, cat. Guys, focus. Without bickering any louder, will save us from the queen. This has a point. You best be on your best behavior, cat. You got nothing to worry about, B. Sure, the queen doesn't like me now for some reason. That's just because she doesn't know how irresistible I am. Bunny rolls her eyes. Damn! So much beef! So much beef! We make our way inside the throne room. Oh, heck! Ah! 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 This is nuts! This is crazy. This is exciting. Hey. The guards lead us through massive doors where, with heart symbols. What is displayed before us is a long throne room with what I assume is the queen sitting upright in an elaborate chair with a stone cold frown on her face. Ah! My boobies! <laughs> there was an ominous aura throughout the room and it got more intense once the massive doors closed behind us. The three of us bowed down to her, including Cat, whom the Queen glared at as if wanting to behead her right away. <gasps> Your sack <laughs> for my <laughs> artifacts. Why is there no full sack like your previous endeavor? It's so weird! It's so weird! It's so weird! Oh my god! And why are you late? <laughs> <laughs> oh, what the fuck? <laughs> it feels so weird! I, 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 I wasn't informed of the royal time change. That is no excuse for your tardiness! <laughs> Instead of these lame excuses, you better provide a good reason for your absence of artifacts i demand honesty subject bunny well you see there there was a, 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 full, a full sack but, but it was uh, destroyed destroyed Yes. In ten seconds, you <laughs> best have myself? a reason why I shouldn't be having <laughs> your head on a platter. It has been some time since I've ordered that method. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh. 
I, I did bring quite an uh, uh, amazing discovery that, that, that no one has seen in this world. Thank you, Hess. Oh? And what might this discovery be? This better amuse me to make up for your disappointing effort today. This is so weird! Ahem. In order to unveil said discovery, allow me to present my companion from another world, Alice. So, if that is allowed, come forward, Alice. Oh, no. <laughs> I've never been enthusiastic about taking orders, but with our lives on the line, I have to be careful with what I say. Ooh, quick save. Oh, I got a big save. I don't want to die. All right. I walk forward and hold back from saying anything to offend the queen. In order to save Bunny, I have to appease the queen as much as possible. Better make a style presentation like my sister's automata showcases. It is an honor to be in your presence. I have with me quite the innovation in technology which could be of great benefit for your kingdom. I present to you the Automata Prosthetics. I pull my sleeve to reveal my mechanical prosthetic. It's working. I have to keep up the performance. It was originally made by my junior sister. It is a lightweight and accurate replacement to limbs. It connects by having wires connecting to my skin and detecting the nerves. As you can see, I can fully control my mechanical fingers. It also has the added benefit of being durable, so it won't break easily. Fascinating. I've never seen such a tool before. My sister's prosthetics can also cover legs, fingers, eyes, etc. She also has mechanical yet obedient servants in her catalogue. Replacing limbs and subjects? <laughs> That's quite the enticing resources you offer. However, I will offer a deal only if you let Bunny live. The Queen thinks for some time. <laughs> Usually people who make such bold statements would be beheaded. But you have piqued my interest. So I am in a generous mood at the moment. Very well. The disappointing subject Bunny may live. I feel like I'm, like, having a fever dream or something. <laughs> it's really weird! <laughs> it's really cool! It's, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Bunny is slightly hurt by the comment, but mostly relieved that she gets to live. Thank you. Oh. Oh, however, my generosity ends here. She may live. But since she failed to live up to her task, she will be sentenced to prison for life. Oh no. Oh, wait. I beg of you. Guards! Escort Bunny to her holding cell. Yes, my queen. Ah! Hey, it's Darren! As you command, my queen. Woo, Darren! <laughs> no, hold on, you can't just. Can't who? Realizes the grave punishment that's going to fall upon Bunny quickly creates an illusion in her hands. I can see from where I am that the illusion in question is of a small automaton doll. The same one I used to have as a kid. But how does Cat know these kinds of dolls? Bunny feels the doll in her hands and look at Cat with surprise. It seems she is far more familiar with her illusions than I am. <gasps> I mean... Who knows, sure. It depends how well you all are. Mm. My queen, I beg your forgiveness for my mistake. I, I should have presented you with the yes artifact before I excused myself. <laughs> oh, I get to actually do it live! Oh. How pretty. Apology accepted. All of you are dismissed. Alice, you should be around when the food is ready. Yes. You have my gratitude for your illusions, Cat. I owe you this one. 
you owe me a lot of things, B. Yeah, I did that because I don't want you to be punished. I really hate the Queen of Hearts, and I bet you knew about it too. Your family heritage made me hate you for wanting to be under such a tyrant. Watch your words, Cat. We are in the palace! Sure. Thank you, Atli. I can't say much for now, but sometimes I wish that we may go back to how we were. <laughs> Me too, B. Look at both of you! I... I really want to continue this person conversation, but I have another appointment to attend. Bunny checks her pocket watch. I hope we will talk again later. <laughs> I'm late! Well then, shall we have a nice stroll around the palace, hot stuff? Of course. Now that it's finally the two of us again, why don't we talk about all the nice things? Uh, nice things? <laughs> you know, I've been wondering about your pretty face and whether you actually <laughs> have someone in mind. Oh! Uh... I... Uh... Is nah. Um, I don't have anyone in my mind currently. Oh, really? Yes, but... As I told you, my family wants to pair me with a lot of suitors. Um, yes, I mean, actually... Oh, oh! My family wants to pair me with a lot of suitors. Thank you. Tell me about it. Well, I honestly think that none of them suit my interest. It's not that I don't want to fall in love or anything, I think I do. It's just that I haven't met anyone who I like and who also likes me. I find it odd, with that pretty face of yours. I laugh. Cat acts like many men I have encountered. If a guy had talked to me in this fashion, I would have rolled my eyes. And yet I really like when she does it. Now that I think about it, this is the first time a woman has talked to me like this. Cat seems to like to flirt a lot too. Maybe she's just playing with me. That's why you say to everybody. That's why you say I was just being honest with you. I don't uh, say that to just anyone. I'm sorry, Kat! Although, I understand if you think of me that way. So, Alice, I've been living in this land since I was born, you know? I don't really know how life is in your world. And I wonder if everyone in your world is as gorgeous and appealing as you are. Ah! Go gorgeous and appealing, you say? Of course. I wouldn't be tired of saying that over and over again, if you're okay with that. I think I understand why girls fell for your appeal, Kat. Oh, it took you this long? <laughs> I'm just being honest with you, hot stuff. Hello! I hope I'm not interrupting anything. Uh-oh! Uh-oh! We're in danger! We're in danger! Hi, girls. Hi! How are you doing? All good. We just arrived. Did you have enough time to learn a new act? Not even close. We should be rehearsing if we don't want the queen to chop, chop, chop our heads. <laughs> uh, shouldn't you go rehearse then? Absolutely, you should. What are you doing here? That's right, Dee Dee. What? <laughs> It sounds familiar. <laughs> it's so weird. It's so weird. I mean, we're just we just reading stuff out right now, but it's so weird. But I hope you're doing well, my friend. Wonderful, wonderful friend. Kiro, <laughs> Kyoto, That's right, Didi. What are we doing here? Oh, I just wanted to make sure these two weren't doing anything romantic. She is too direct! I don't care if you don't care about Cat, because if Cat cares about you, my chances get ruined! And I do care. Okay, that's it. Let's go. Wait, no! They're gonna kiss! 
Wait, we are? <laughs> Dee drags her sister until we cannot see them anymore. Cat and I laugh about the incident, and we just talk. It is me. I'm so fucking tall, Jesus. And later, a servant called us for dinner. There we can see the most luxurious food with all the delicacies that I have never been able to enjoy in the real world. Alice of another world! <laughs> Show us the artifact in your hand. Due to a pleasant mood at the table, I showed my prosthesis once more. I can see the high technology that you have there in your hand. <laughs> now, since I have my artifact here, I have an order for you. Oh no. Uh oh. Oh no, indeed. I have two demands that have to be met right now. First of all, you should stay here so my inventors will be able to disarm your hand and understand how to imitate the technology. Secondly, I want you to guide me to its creator, just in case my inventors fail once again to rep reproduce your world's wonders. Uh, my apologies, but I can't do that. What do you mean with can't? I offered you the best option, guards! Yes, my queen. <laughs> yes, queen. Incarcerate her right now. She should stay here as a prisoner. The card guards then catch me. I look at my surroundings in panic as I want to ask for Kat's help, but I can't see her anywhere in the dining room. Where are you, Kat? Oh, I'm safe. I don't want to die. Oh, no! We in jail! <laughs> I'm alone in the cold cell, crying by myself. I didn't know this could be such a scary place. The Queen of Hearts is crazily demanding woman, and it only needs a slight mistake to have our heads on the guillotine. But it's sadder to find out that Cat has abandoned me like this. Use the bell! Yay! I take the sleigh bell she gave me. If you are ever in danger and I'm not around, just make a ring and I'll know where to find you. That's what she said. But you do know where I am. You were just there when I was in danger and you said nothing. Cat, you liar. Should I even try? <gasps> do we ring the bell? Or do we not do ring the bell? Leave your answers in chat. Go, go, go. Oh my goodness. We are the one with the beef now. We ourselves are the one with the beef. Everybody's got beef. Including us. Okay, ring ring. Okay, ring ring. I make the bell ring. It makes a pretty sound for a second and then stops. <gasps> oh no! Oh no! Nothing. I'm so dumb for trusting her. I raise my hand with the bell, the same hand that put me in this place to begin with. And I throw it in anger of Cat failing me, of finally convincing me of coming with her to this place. Of myself for following her, of my sister for not being by my side, of father of... Oh. Oh! Cat appeared just outside of the jail. The bell had landed on her head. Oh, nice cat. <laughs> cat! Shh. I'm so cat. sorry for being late, sweetie. Oh. You must have been waiting for me. I was so give me your whole lot of mouth. Where have you been, Cat? Hush. We should lower our voices if we don't want to get caught by the guards. I was asking you. You see, hun? I can only appear in places that I can reach with my solid body. But how am I supposed to save you if I also get caught? Touche! Cat shows me the prison key as she smiles. Thanks to Dumb and Dee, everyone in the palace is currently focusing on their performance. Now hurry. Let's get out of here. Cat opens the prison cell and takes me to run away. Oh, heck! We pass through the halls. Cat can make herself invisible but chooses not to because I can't. It feels like she's telling me that we're in this together. We're about to pass the throne room when two guards appear. Oh no! We're so close! Come on, hurry! I really want to see the act! Going! Cat pulls me into safety until they leave the hall. We start walking again, but in the hurry, I fall. <gasps> oh, no. Cat helps me to get up when a guard's voice is heard. The prisoner ran away! Oh, egg! Run! Hurry! 
We run as fast as we can. It's not long before the rest of the guards in the Queen's castle are chasing us. Cat takes my hand as we move from hall to hall. Cat stops me from continuing to run. In front of us is a row of guards. We don't even have to look behind us to see there's another there. We're trapped! Cat's hand gets tense. Do you know what they say about cats, hot stuff? No, no, no. Uh, why would you? I don't know. They have nine lives? I wish that one was true. Oh. No. The other one. <gasps> she pulls me closer and picks me up. They always fall on their feet. Wait, what? Before I can even react, she jumps through the windows for taking me from defenestration! This game's got it all, you guys. This game's got it all. Bunny girls, cat girls, cardmen, defenestration, romance, beef, <laughs> drama. Get it now! <laughs> Holy shit. Before I can even react, she jumps through the windows, protecting me from the glass. She, as she said, we reach the floor on her feet and continue running as the cards above us shout and complain. We reach the forest when Cat pulls me inside a bush. The voices of the guards who are chasing us are still quite far as Cat holds my cheek. All right, Alice. I think this is now the time for you to go back to your world. Your existence here now is in danger, so you better hurry. But... No buts, hot stuff. I don't want you to get in trouble. Uh, you should have seen his face. Matthew was like, I would marry a prince if he proposed to me. Sorry, what were you saying? Let's go and have something to eat, shall we? Yes! Ah! It's no use going back to yesterday, because I was a different person then. All right, so we didn't even we didn't even meet Maddie, so we might just have to we might have to romance everybody. Let's go. Let's just get back into it, yo. Let's get back into it. All right. Um. Oh. Um. Um. I don't know. Yes. Yes. Oh, really? What did I just say? <sighs> Alice, this is important. We were paying attention, it's fine. Is it? Dad is worried about you. Ugh. Five handsome and powerful men want to marry you. Ah. And all you can do about it is hide away from their advances. I'm scared. That's not all I do. And humiliate them. Thank you. All right, let's skip ahead. So this time, let's, let's stay close, because we did have a vote for that. Maybe I shouldn't do that today. <laughs> uh, you ah. should have seen his face. Matthew was like, I would marry a prince if he proposed to me. Let's go and have something to eat, shall we? Yes. No! <laughs> and what is the use of a book, thought Alice, without pictures or conversations? Yep. No, no rabbit time there. <laughs> No time for rabbits! Alright, no. Speedrun! Follow the figure. Ah. Okay, um. Alright, let's go, let's go full cat route. Full cat route. Um. If you hadn't run away, this wouldn't have happened. Well, when you think about it, this is kind of your fault. I mean, if you hadn't run away, this. Wouldn't have happened. How... Well, how... How is this my fault? <laughs> we, we're back at the beginning now, so we're just trying to go through and see if we can aroma, romance people. But if I hadn't run away, what does that mean? You! You, 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 you chased me! Like, like I was some sort of uh, a hunting hare! A hare that hunts? No, 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 a hare that is hunted, and, and, and you are the hunting dog. <sighs> I'm rabbit stew. Oh, We made, we made her feel oh, worse. your hand. Okay, so we're, we're gonna go with Bunny to go and see the Queen of Hearts, because we broke all of her 
all of all of her artifacts that she was meant to bring the queen. And also, we stated that it was your fault. Uh, oh my god, are we? I mean, do we just have to be a complete ass to Bunny <laughs> so we can get with Cat? <laughs> sure, let's do it. Let's be angry, Alice. Oh my god, are you stupid? I can't just take it off, it's glued to my arm! You didn't have to say it like that. Why do you want me to take it off anyway? Th the Queen of Hearts sent me on a mission to your world to find artifacts. She is obsessed with them. Can't you go back and get more? My sister has a lot of these kinds of things in her studio. You, you can take some. I don't know, I'm too lazy. Alright. New. <gasps> Even though this is all your fault. Oh, this is cute! Will you do that for me? Yes. Even though this is all your fault. <laughs> okay, let's go. She gets up as if nothing happened and takes me by the arm. Wee! Too touchy. Oh no, charming. We like the cat. We like the cat. Can we romance the queen? Mm, darling. I am unromanceable. I wear hats as my only portrayal of any form of romance or emotional love. I love robots, though. Are you a robot? <laughs> Will the stream implode if Key tries to romance herself? Well. <laughs> well. There's one way to find out. You can get the game right now! <laughs> and find out for yourself for absolutely free. On, let me let me post the link in the chat. There we go. The game is available right now. Over on Itchio. Charming! Yes, let's go full full kitty cat. You did a great job, hot stuff. She tends to be alluring. Hot hot stuff? What I wonder is what you were doing all alone in a place like this. No. Oh. Caterpillar's not the only danger out there. You know? Come with me. I'm going to take you somewhere safe. My house is near. Okay, let's let's get going. Um. Uh. We're, we're, are we going full <laughs> being mean to Bunny Root? <laughs> kind of feels mean. Um. That that I would do. I don't know where she that. Okay. Is there an auto? Oh, that's cute, actually. So cute. Do you really think that? I don't know if I can see it twice. Anyways, regardless of where she was taking you, you are going to have much more fun with Ooh. me. Let's go. Alice! Oh, here she comes. She's coming back. It's Bunny who comes running towards us. Cat lets me go and puts her hands in her pockets. Bunny recognizes her immediately, and her demeanor also changes. I can see her straightening her back even more and raising her chin. Ooh. Ooh. Hello, Bunny. Hi, Bunny. Cat, I see you have met Alice. I hope you weren't a complete annoyance to her. She wasn't. We were getting along. She wasn't an annoyance. She was actually really nice to me. She saved me. Anyways, it was a pleasure to see you again, Cat. Alice and I have to continue our travel to the Queen's Palace. The Queen's Palace. Right, was... Alice, you shouldn't go there alone. Wee, wee, wee. All right, let's go with Cat. With Cat. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Uh, no, we've been mean, mean bunny time. I do agree that she seems to envy you. See. You saw it with your own eyes. I never liked such an attitude. Is it all bad memories with Bunny? Okay. Wee wee. -wee. Uh, yeah, move on. We'll not, we'll not, we'll not. We'll respect what she says. All right then, if you say so. I guess I've rambled enough about me and Bunny. It would be fair if you returned a favor and told me more about yourself and that. Lovely hand you have there. Oh heck. Um, taller. We did that last time. 
And charming. Of course. How often does a person like me walk with such a beautiful and charming cat like yourself? Oh my. Ooh. What a lovely way of flattery you have there. Not as lovely as you are, cat. Now, now. Things are getting hot here, ah! and I would love to continue further. But there's an annoying task from the queen that we have to do. <laughs> I didn't know you could show such a cute face, Cat. You're much cuter. Aww. Now, <laughs> let's get this done quickly. Now you. Sure. <coughs> right, we got the twin twin drama. I know how to solve this. Easy peasy. You do sister feel sister is jealous it's true. of you. It's, it's true. not. Oh. We don't even know their names. That's amazing. What bothers uh dumb. Right. <laughs> That's actually really cute. Second, what bothers dumb is that uh she's tired of zooming seems more as a certain. But is that true? This is a shit hug. <laughs> uh, explain why she feels this way. Yeah. There's nothing. I'm not going to continue with our act anymore. Oh. Eh. It was getting old. Oh. Okay. Um. I'm not going to let you in either. The competition is on, beach. I'm not going to let you in either. <laughs> you have a rival, Dee Dee. We should get going, Alice. Bye, girls. Bye, bye, Alice. Oh, it's friendly competition, <laughs> friendly romantic competition. Cat has a silly smile on her face. What? You like me? Maybe. Do you have a lot of girls that like you? A few. Oh. What can I say? Most girls fall for me when I talk. To the point, naming a list of girls that have never shown interest in me would be easier than the other way around. Damn, cat. I see. Is the queen on that list, or...? I don't even want to think about what that would look like. <clears throat> Alright. we Snap of the guards! Get out of here! For the police! Get your hands off her! I wanted to give them a piece of my mind, but cat... Hid between us, the uh, hide us between cat hid us between the bushes before I could. Who dares speak with such a tone? Show yourself, criminal! Uh oh. In a rush of panic, cat casts an illusion of a noisy bird who is spewing insults using my own voice. It's that bird! How dare they? I'll have their head for this! Look, I like a gal who can fight, but not when all of our heads are on the line. I beg you, <laughs> hot stuff. Please, don't say any more harsh words. You don't want to get on this kingdom's bad side. Also, these cards don't have any hands. Oh. This is a, um... This is a good point. I was about to argue, but after seeing a trembling bunny and a worried cat, I realized that now's not the time for smart aleck remarks, like in my world. Well there, guys. Take it easy now. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a big save. <laughs> Heck. <laughs> no need for any messy beheadings. Alice! Okay, cool. Whee! Oh no, um... Oh, we, we just saved. We just saved. We've, we've got it, we've got it, we got to do it. we got to do it. Why should I? You can see me just fine over here. What did you just mutter? It just seems like a pointless order, plus you're really annoying to listen and look at. I will have both of your heads for this insult! Oh no. Me and my big mouth. Alice, what have you done? <laughs> yeah. Off with the heads! Yay, we died! <laughs> <laughs> well there guys oh, take it easy now <laughs> that was a really fun line to do just like, what did you just utter hold on Chris dead yay 
Oh man. Okay, cool. Whee! I did that just because a rabbit's head is not my favorite meal on the platter. Oh wow! What a way to return my gratitude! Should I say my pleasure or something? It's never been a pleasure to please such a demanding woman, just so you know. Watch your words! We are in the Queen's Palace! Sure. Oh, I gotta go! Look at her being such a busybody. Oh, shit! Well then, shall we have a nice stroll around the palace, hot stuff? Sure! Of course. Now that it's finally the two of us again, why don't we talk about all the nice things? <laughs> exactly, Chop. Exactly. Nice things? You know, I've been wondering about your pretty face and whether you actually have someone in mind. Oh. <laughs> Death is cool. Dang right. If you get this game, I'll personally kill you. <laughs> Dude, well, not me personally, but yeah. You can have me yell at you and kill you. Like, there you go. Sold. 10 out of 10. I just, you know, beheaded myself. Sometimes, you know, you gotta do it. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Keep ahead of me. 10 out of 10. Come again. I do have someone in mind. Well, yes, I do have someone in mind. Oh, really? May I ask who it is? No. <gasps> it's... <laughs> it's you, cat. It was always you. Me? Uh, yes, to be honest with you, I understand why so many girls fall for you. Alice. Oh! I'm just not sure if you like me too. I thought I had made myself clear that I like yeah. you, Alice. I, I think, yeah, she was dropping a lot of hints. Yes, but from what I've heard, you have been clear with more than one girl. And each time I'm genuine. What can I say? I'm a hopeless romantic. Dang. But believe me, Alice, Ooh. I like you. Uh, are you being honest? Do I look like I'm lying to you, Ooh. hot stuff? Where's she coming? Where's she coming? Cat stares at me intensely. She holds my hand. <gasps> our faces get closer. Hello! Ah! God dang it! I hope I'm not interrupting anything. Hi, girls. Hi! How are you doing? Uh, all good. We just arrived. Did, uh, <clears throat> did you have enough time to learn a new act? Not even close. We should be rehearsing if we don't want the queen to chop, chop, chop our heads. <laughs> Shouldn't you go and rehearse then? Absolutely, you should! What are you doing here? That's right, Didi. What are we doing here? Oh, I just wanted to make sure these two weren't doing anything romantic. She is too direct! What do you expect, Alice? That's what happens when you have a love rival. Okay, that's it. Let's go. Wait, no! They're gonna kiss! D drags her sister until we cannot see them anymore. Cat and I laugh about the incident, and then we just talk. Damn it! No! No! That's so close! Ring the damn bell! No! Kitty cat cat! <gasps> oh! Oh! Right, now we're, now we're at the point of re returning back to our homeland, so we are safe. I don't want to leave you! I... Oh, good point, yes. I don't want to leave you, I... Don't worry about me. I'll be fine. I have gotten way worse. Just promise me something. Ooh. Next time you think of us, make it so we are in a nicer place. Uh. The beach would be nice, don't you think, hot stuff? Cat. <gasps> uh. <laughs> uh, you should have seen. 
seen his face. Matthew was like, I would marry a prince if he proposed to me. <laughs> oh, someone is thinking of something nice. <laughs> Maybe. Tell me. I'm not going to tell you. Please. Absolutely not. Alice. Would you tell me, please, which way I ought to go from here? That depends on a good... That depends a good deal on where you want to get to. Ah, Cute! I don't know if we got... I don't know if that was the good ending! How do we? Help. Well, that's actually really useful. Assistive self-voicing. Ooh. Ooh. It opened. Oh, that's really cool! Yeah! So, yeah. That's really cool. Uh, hides the user interface. Options. Yeah, there's a good amount, of, really good amount of options. Uh, damn. So did we not get the good? The good end. Hmm. Oh, that's where the quick saves are. Gotcha. Jesse! Alright, shall we go for Bunny? Shall we try and get the good kitty cat route? Because we didn't get that CG. We didn't get that CG! Maybe, maybe we have to make them friends again as well. <sighs> uh, or maybe you guys will have to play it yourselves. Um, alright, let's, let's... Let's noom once again. Let's go for, let's go for Bunny this time. We No, I was not listening. Nope! <sighs> Alice, this is important. Oh, yeah, we could definitely try that. We could definitely try it. Uh, right, let's go. Uh, we shall try that after. Wee. I'm sorry! It's good though, because it pauses when there's new dialogue. Wee. I can get you some. Oh, you are sweet. That would be nice. But my gem broke in the fall. Aww. Smoky, smoky. Too touchy. Not this time, thank you. You did a great job, Hot Stuff. She tends to be alluring. <gasps> oh no. Oh no. Um. Well, let's try and like make them friends again, but still. Oh, I don't know. She's too anxious all the time. We're worried about her. I don't think you should mind what she says. She's too anxious all the time. Yeah, that's right. She is way too anxious. I didn't mean that good. in a mean way. She needs to learn how to relax like we do. Did she try to take away one of your body parts too? Ex what? That's... Absurdly specific. What? I know. There was this time the queen got obsessed with cats. She wanted to make a scarf of my tail. Uh. Anyways, regardless of where she was taking Ooh. you, you are going to have much more fun. Bunny was going to take your tail? Let's go. Damn! Oh, we ain't helping this time, sorry. Anyways, it was a pleasure to see you again, Cat. Alice and I have to continue our travel to the Queen's Palace. The Queen's Palace? Yo! Let's go with Bunny. With Bunny. Y you will? I mean, <laughs> I knew it! Let's go, Alice! Jesus Christ! You were gonna steal her tail? That's not nice, Bunny! 
Bunny takes me by the arm and we start walking down the path again. Bye bye, cat! Alice, wait. Oh, take this. Oh, is it the bell? Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Look at Bunny who's unfazed. It seems Cat is just able to do that. Hot stuff. Who does she think she is that? She's such a nuisance. Bunny checks her stopwatch. Anyway, let's go. Wouldn't want to be late. I know I wouldn't. Bunny leads the way to the Queen's Palace. This walk might take a while, so it's best to start small talk. So, Bunny, why are you so angry towards Cat? Oh, there are not enough lifetimes to explain my issues towards Cat. Her laziness, her tardiness, her lack of responsibility. Inconveniencing my tasks and how she has no shame flirting with everyone. How, how come she attracts so many people without worry? Oh, uh, you got you play natural skills. I'm sure you have many natural talents as well. Plus, the way you compose yourself does have its own charm. Well, thank you. I, I do see myself as a much proper lady and leader compared to that scoundrel. Damn! Is it all bad memories with Cat? Well, things were rather un rather pleasant when we were younger. Her prank saved me from some unpleasant people. She showed great attention to my heated ramblings about family playing hide and seek. Yet she always won, even pitied me to the point of going easy on me. We also used to partake in tea together with Maddie. You're quite the eccentric character, I might add. But once I took up my family heritage of serving the Queen of Hearts, that's when our connection was broken. She never liked the Queen, even feared her, and she went on making my royal duties a nuisance with her antics and spending more time with unsavory crowds than with me. I even lashed out and complained about Cat to the Queen. Cat bothered me, yet I never intended to make the Queen despise her. I don't know how things can go back to before. Oh, you damn! You ruined it. You can find common ground. I'm certain if the two of you took the time to talk to each other, you two can always find ways to reconcile and have common ground. I suppose that could work. I guess I never gave Cat a chance to hear her side of the story. Maybe that can change by making the first step to reconcile. More like the first hop. Confident Bunny should be able to achieve that. If only I had that confidence. I've rambled long enough about my origins. It would be fair if you returned the favor and told me more about yourself and that magnificent artifact you have there. Yeah, I'll tell you. I have my own sister and she makes automatons. And then she made my hand. Your sister has done an incredible work. It functions just like organic limbs. She has a great intellect and heart to achieve such helpful mechanisms. Yes, out of all my family, I love her and appreciate my sister and what she's done to guide me throughout my life. However, it does become tiresome when my parents and sister keep sending potential male suitors for me to marry off to. Male suitors? <laughs> Do any of them fancy to your liking? Out of all the five candidates, none of them. Oh. No amount of their looks, wealth, status, or entire being interests me to the slightest. It's honestly sad to see them try and fail to amuse me. If only my sister could fulfill my parents' wish for an arranged suitor, but she's married to her studies. I see. It sounds quite bothersome to deal with such men. Oh, tell me about it. At least this place has far more interesting people here. I'm glad I'm able to accompany someone as engaging as you. I'm engaging? <gasps> and cute! Absolutely! How often does a person like me walk with such a well-dressed and cute-looking bunny lady such as yourself? Well-dressed? It's a good outfit, I do like it. C -c cute oh, Wait a minute! Don't patronize me with such words as... Cute! I am well in my lady years. Would 
integrity suffice? I, 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 I swear, you are almost as bad as Cat with your bold words. <laughs> Yet I, I could become more comfortable with your company and words than that troublesome cat. Oh dear, compose yourself. <laughs> Honey looks even cuter being more flustered like that. My grin keeps making her composure break even more. Ahem. Anyhow, let's not waste any more time. The more we stole, the more likely chance that I'll become a less than appealing headless hair by the Queen. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, I'm glad it wasn't a scary monster eating a girl or something like that. Okay. But well, wait a minute, Alice. You can't just intervene in people's fights like that. It's disrespectful. You're just scared that they are going to get angry at you instead. Come on, let's see if we can help them. I think it's better if we talk to them separately. Okay, dokily. I don't know how to solve this. I doubt this. it. Great. The tide's doing the same as... That's ridiculous. We both love opera. There's no way oh, she I could get Oh, I chose the wrong one. Oopsie poopsie. Well... Is true, that's not the main reason. Dumb. Okay. Uh, oopsie poopsie. Kind of being seen in the ways of a sister. Wee! Is it the way she feels? We do. Well, that wasn't perfect. I should start again. Okay. Uh, try again. Damn, we actually did it right the first time. <laughs> nice. We're actually good at this! Hell yeah! Uh, so that's the way to explain the wheel this way. That was awesome, actually. Were you expecting something else? Not fighting, I guess. Let's continue. Eventually, we arrive at the palace. Honey tries to stay composed, but I notice her quivering voice, the sweat on her forehead, her hands shaking. We stop in front of two guard cards? I have an appointment with the Queen to report back my artifact findings. Both cards look sternly at Bunny. Where are the artifacts? Your previous ventures had at least a full sack of treasures to offer the Queen. Well, you see, I had no fortune in finding any worthwhile artifacts befitting the Queen, except for one groundbreaking mechanism from a traveler of an outside world titled as Alice. You think showing one singular artifact will amuse the Queen? It better be a rare and worthwhile artifact to make up for your poor performance. Very picky. The yeah. Queen just finished her latest beheading several <laughs> hours ago, and she is not in an amused mood. Multiple? Damn. How many people am I beheading? Nice. Bunny turns even paler than white. Another guard rolls off a wagon beside us that's covered with a bumpy canvas. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Anyone said Bohala? I don't know. Not, not yet. I, I haven't been in this playthrough just yet, but I hope you're doing well. We'll, we'll, we'll get, we'll get, we'll find me in a second. And she might, we might kill, we might kill me. That makes sense. How are you doing today? <laughs> Bunny turns even paler than white. Another guard rolls off a wagon beside us that's covered with a bumpy canvas. Both Bunny and I don't have to ponder long to guess what's under the covers. Bunny freezes in place and shivers. No, no, I've been loyal. I've fulfilled my previous tasks. I, 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 I... Hey, what's up, Avalon? How are you doing, lovely? I hope you're doing well today. Oh, oh no! Oh no! Oh no! My bunny is broken! I think... Oh, heck. We've probably... You've probably got to comfort her, right? <laughs> Snap her out of it. Hey! 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 Bunny! What are you doing, Bunny? <laughs> what are you... What are you doing, Bunny? How are you doing today, Avalon? I hope you are doing well. Yes, another of the wonderful, wonderful friends 
who works on this beautiful game as one of our voiceover designers. Yay. If I am not mistaken, I am awful with names, so I do apologize. But yes. Uh, hello, hello. <laughs> I'm glad you well. I'm very excited. Thank you. We've we've already we've I, the only person we haven't met is Maddie yet. So we're trying to figure out how to get to Maddie. But we are also trying to romance the other ladies. But uh, a bit ahead of myself already. So that's fun. <laughs> but it's lovely to have you here. I hope you're doing well. Um, maybe you Aww, just love thanks. to thank you for the follow. <laughs> maybe you just love collecting heads, and it's easier for you to behead everyone than rather collect them in other ways. <laughs> We, we do an efficiency. We do like efficiency. How could you not romance everyone? Exactly. All right. Let's 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 hold her hand. Oh, oh. I take her hand. Bunny snaps out of it. She looks at me. Whatever happens, I will be right beside you. I believe we can get you out of trouble. Believe in yourself. Bunny keeps gazing at me for a long time. She notices that she's holding my hand still. <gasps> Mm -hmm. uh, you are pr 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 precisely right. A royal servant of the queen should stay steadfast in her composure. There you go. There you go. Bunny calms down, yet is still grasping my hand for support. I don't let go for her sake. If you are done wasting time, which is unwise since you are already past your appointment time. Oh no, we're late. Present yourself to the queen before she finalizes another beheading. Oh, but I do Not according you. to the recent time change. Oops. Uh, let's quick save. What? L late? But my clock says I'm right on time! Not according to the recent time change. Wait, recent time changes? You weren't informed? The queen's precious slumber was disturbed by her many alarm clocks. Okay, that's, that's too real. That's too real. <laughs> How did they know? <laughs> she ordered beheadings for all clocks and their creators. What? And decreed that time must be adjusted to fit the queen's necessary slumber time. Oh, man. What? When was this enforced? The most recent morning. But, but it, it doesn't line up with my clock. It's, it's very accurate. And... Are you and your clock defying the queen's decree? Nonsense. The, the, the queen's decree is true. Is the clock and I that are in the wrong? There was an awkward silence between the shivering bunny and the stern guards. Then the guards glanced at me. This artifact better be worthwhile. Bro, you don't know. It's really right this way. It's a really cool artifact. Oh, straight to her! Oh, here we go. The guards lead us through massive doors with heart symbols. What is displayed before us is a long throne room with, who I assume is the queen, sitting upright in an elaborate chair with a stone cold frown on her face. There was an ominous aura throughout the room. And it got more intense once the massive doors closed behind us. My queen! Bunny almost collapses to the floor while bowing. She catches herself in time. The queen's face doesn't change at all. Subject Bunny, rise up. It's so weird. <laughs> it's me. <laughs> Wonderful. Bunny. Bunny shoots upright immediately. Your sack for my artifacts. Why is there no full sack like your previous endeavors? Uh oh. And why are you late? Oh. I, 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 I wasn't informed of the, the royal time change. That is no excuse for your tardiness. Instead of these lame excuses, I'm so mean. You better provide a good reason for your absence of artifacts. Just like it's cool, right? I demand honesty, subject bunny. Well, you see, there was a, 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 a full sack, but but, but it was uh, <laughs> destroyed. Destroyed. Yes. In ten seconds. You best have a reason why I shouldn't be having your head on a platter! It has been some time since I've ordered that method! Wait, 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 wait. I, I did bring quite an uh, uh, amazing discovery that, that no one has seen in this world! Oh? And what might this oh. discovery be? Damn. 
This better amuse me to make up for your disappointing effort today. I'm skilled. I'm skilled with my soul. Em. Oh my goodness. In order to unveil <laughs> said discovery, allow me to present my companion from another world, Alice. If that is allowed. Come forward, Alice. I've never been enthusiastic about taking orders, but with our lives on the line, I have to be careful with what I say. Alright, let's just follow, let's follow along. I walk forward and hold back from saying anything to offend the Queen. In order to save Bunny, I have to appease the Queen as much as possible. But to make a star presentation like my sister's automata showcases. It is an honor to be in your presence. <laughs> I have with me quite the innovation in technology, which could be of great benefit for your kingdom. I present to you the automata prosthetics. I pull my sleeve up to reveal my mechanical prosthetic. It's amazing the queen just accepts that Alice is from another world at face value. Yeah, it's just like, yep, it's fine by me. Yep, no issue here. I see no issue with this. This is intriguing. I want to know more. So is it aliens? Are you from space? <laughs> it's working. I have to keep up the performance. It was originally made by my genius sister. It is a lightweight and accurate replacement to limbs. It connects by having wires connecting to skin and detecting your nerves. As you can see, I can fully control my mechanical fingers. It also has the added benefit of being durable so it won't break easily. Fascinating. I've never seen such a tool before. My sister's prosthetics can also cover legs, fingers, eyes, etc. She, has all, she also has a mechanical yet obedient... Yes, I did write that right. She also has mechanical yet obedient servants in her catalogue. Replacing limbs and subjects? <laughs> That's quite the enticing resources you offer. Uh, however, <laughs> I will offer a deal only if you let Bunny live. The Queen thinks for some time. <laughs> Usually people who make such bold statements would be beheaded. But you have piqued my interest. So I am in a generous mood at the moment. Very well. The disappointing subject Bunny may live. <laughs> I've never seen such a tool before. What are you, what are you calling a tool? I'm, I'm here to show you my hand, mate. Why are you going to be so mean? Open your head! <laughs> so that, that's it. Bunny is slightly hurt by the comment, but mostly relieved that she gets to live. Thank you. Oh, however, my <laughs> generosity ends here. She may live, but since she failed to live up to her task, she will be sentenced to prison for life. <laughs> Wait, I beg of you. God! Escort Bunny to her <gasps> holding cell. So wait, in the other playthroughs, was Bunny just still in jail? Yes, my queen. Oh, no. As you command, my queen. Hold on, you, you can't just... Alice, it, it's okay. Bunny, but you can't just go through with this. I failed to live up to the queen. I am simply accepting the punishment I deserve. <gasps> oh, no. Bunny refused to argue or struggle for her own sake. The guards take her far away from my line of sight. <sighs> it's useless to waste your energy on a former subject, Bunny. She couldn't even live up to her family lineage of serving my family, and she couldn't live up to my standards. Such a uh, failure is left to be forgotten. Damn! I, I think the bed might be a bit nicer than that. That's... Oh, oh no! Oh no! Are we going for the double death? Let's go for the double death. That's probably a bit late to save. This is a stupid punishment. Bunny didn't deserve any of this. Have you ever thought about how crazy your demands are? As I said before, my generosity ended already. Certain it's wise to defy me. <laughs> yes, we.
I won't bow down to some unstable tyrant who's hurting the people I care about. I didn't turn, but I noticed the presence of guards behind me. On second thought, <laughs> I'm confident my scholars can examine your artifact and replicate it just fine. Remove her mechanism and prepare former subject Bunny and Alice for beheading. <laughs> Off with their heads! <laughs> Yay! We died again! <laughs> All right, quick save. Oh no! Oh, I did. Did it? Yeah, it did. Sweet. Wee! I failed to live up to the queen. Wee! All right. Um. Ooh, ooh, let's go. Um. Ooh, should we snap and then like back down, or should we defend? Let's let's snap and back down. Bend and bend and snap, as they call it. All right, how's this? Smart decision. I prefer if we avoided such pointless arguments in the future. Never mind about former subject Bunny. I am hosting a ball this evening and I insist that you join me. I have much to ask about you and your precious artifact. <laughs> to attract all the men or women or other, you must bend and snap! Until their head falls off. <laughs> Alright. I follow the queen as she leads me to the ball. Bunny is still in my mind. I hope she's alright. Oh, I'm a bunny! I'm a bunny! This ball is exhausting. The queen demanded that I show off my prosthetics to just impress these annoying guests. This whole thing is a waste of time. To make the stress worse, I keep thinking about how Bunny is suffering because of me. If I hadn't followed her, she wouldn't have to be in a cell forever. Actually, she would have had a better life if she wasn't stuck serving that infuriating queen. She really is a pain in the... Well, Alice, I must attend to neighbouring leaders for a brief time. Treat yourself to some treats and drinks while I'm gone. I'm not in the mood for any treats. Look, 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 I know- right, I know she beheads people, but she's got the treats. She's got the snacks. <laughs> we found another similarity. <laughs> Don't you just hate an exhausting ball? Very relatable. Oh, darling, exactly. It's ever so tiring. That's why I try to get all these artifacts and stuff to liven it up a bit and, you know, maybe potentially accidentally behead a person or two. It's not a party without a beheading. <laughs> Wait a minute. I spot the twins from the corner of the stage. They look like they're getting along compared to how I met them. I walk over to them and they wave back once they notice me. Alice! We are so glad to see you again! And we're so thankful for helping us get along again. For the most part. Oh, hush now! Both Dee and Dumb share a laugh. I'm glad to see siblings seeing eye to eye. By the way, where's the girl you were with? She's going to miss our performance. Alice? Is something wrong? I'm gonna pop some tags, I'm gonna go $20 in my pocket. Bunny is sentenced for life for failing to give an abundance of artifacts. But even though it's my fault for ruining Bunny's loot, the Queen is still punishing her. Both Dee and Dumb gasp. That's awful! Poor Bunny! There's nothing that can be done if that's what the Queen ordered. Unless... Dom? Yes? No! Come on! We both know how unreasonable <gasps> the queen is. I'm tired of seeing Mutiny! another person have unfair treatment. Hush. I know, but we can't have Alice get caught. Or worse. Get caught doing what? We noticed one of the guards has keys to the prison. <gasps> Once we start our performance, that should give you enough time to get the keys. It isn't that easy, dumb. There's not enough space, and there are still too many eyes in this room. Alice will definitely get caught if she tries. <laughs> it's, it's all right, Hess, I understand. Prison break, prison break, prison break. Front off! Wait a minute, I still have Cat Sleigh Bell. Don't worry, I know a way I won't get caught. Trust me. Regardless, be careful. Dom, we have to be in our spot soon. Oh, you're right. Let's go. 
Good luck, Alice. Tell Bunny we said hi. Dee and Dum rush over to get to their performance spots. Everyone starts to get to their seats to watch Dee and Dum show. Far behind the audience, they find a private spot and someone cat. Hey there, hard stuff. You finally got tired of that nagging hair and wanted my sweet company. Wait. This is... The Queen's... Oh, no. <laughs> Let's get out of here, hard stuff. This place isn't befitting for two lovely people like us. But Bunny's in trouble. What? How is she... Since Bunny failed to bring many artifacts, the Queen sentenced her to life in prison. Wait, no beheading? No beheading. I impressed the Queen with my automata arm to avoid her death sentence. Nice one, darling. You really are a savior. And a pretty one at that. Cat, I need you to take this seriously. What? Bunny isn't gonna get beheaded. This is the best outcome. I'm sure Bunny will figure something out and get on the Queen's good side again. The Queen is set on leaving Bunny to prison forever, without any second thoughts. Bunny has also lost her spirit when she was taken away. There isn't any way she will get out of here unless you sneak in and get the prison key from that guard over there. Yeah, just like, just real quick. The flirting can continue later. <laughs> One more flirt for the road, yeah. And then we'll go back to the flirting. Right now we need these keys. <laughs> well there, hot stuff. I like to go on dashing adventures with you, but the queen is a hard limit. Plus, I doubt Bunny would even want my help anyway. She'd just spew more insults and tell more dirt towards the queen once she makes it up to that scary woman. Not fun type scary woman, if you know what I mean. Oh! Oh my god! Nah, well, uh, oh, we probably, uh, oh, uh, you, uh, you, uh, 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 sure. You don't get how Bunny truly thinks about you. She misses you. You're just saying that hard stuff. What do you know about Bunny and me? I know how she's thankful that you saved her from dangerous people, how patient you were during her ramblings, the fun times of having hide-and-seek and tea parties with Maddie, wherever or whoever she may be. She told you all that? She also told me how much she regretted not listening to your side, but she didn't know how to approach the topic with all her insecurities and jealousy towards you. I never intended to make her feel bad, I just wanted to have fun. But I lost track of the friendship we had. If only we can have a real talk again. There's only one way- oops, to get that talk again. Wait, I can read it still. Oh wait, it's in the history, isn't it? Yay, I remember. I remember how games work. Um... She misses her friend and she's scared and alone. You're right. I knew the Queen was bad news and now Bunny is suffering because of her. I can't abandon my friend. Cat turns invisible and smoothly picks up the keys from the guards without anyone noticing. Ah, <gasps> nice. As you requested, my dear. Once you free Bunny, tell her I'm sorry for everything. And I hope we can talk again like we used to. I will. Thank you, Cat. Anything for my nagging friend. And for their girl. Gotta be fair like that. Cat winks at me and vanishes from my sight. <gasps> Everyone is still watching Dum and Dee's opera for performance. I sneak my way out of the ball and search for the prison. Prison break. After some thorough searching and avoiding any guards, I finally found the prison room. I come inside and out of the dozen prison cells. Bunny is the only one in this room. Bunny is sitting solemnly with her head down. Oh, Bunny, I'm so glad you're safe. Don't worry, I snatched the prison key so we can get you out of here safe. Why? I exhaust your energy on a bothersome failure such as myself. I deserve to be here. Bunny, you are wrong. Everything you just said was wrong. You are not a bothersome failure. You are loyal and dependable. You push through to do what you have to do despite your insecurities. That takes a lot of strength and courage. You are a strong bunny. You've dealt with the queen's labor tasks. You know how she doesn't treat you with the respect you deserve. You are deserving of love and respect. But who even loves me? Me, bish! I mean, your friend Cat still loves you? 
Yes, she misses you. She misses all the fun times you guys had in the past. She feels sorry for hurting you and not hearing you out. She even helped me get the key. Cat. She really cares. Yes, she does. As do I. The me bitch. <laughs> in our hearts, we're shouting it. You showed me a wonderful land as my guide, and you are our pleasant company to talk to. Plus, you look really cute when you're flustered and like with. Wait, what? Bunny, listen. Listen well when I say to you, the strong and loyal bunny who deserves love and respect. Listen well when I say I. Alice! <laughs> Bunny's ear twitches. The cards are getting closer! Oh no, the performance must be over. Bunny stands up and wipes away the tears. As your loyal guide, I will show you the way outside of this palace. I know the layout. Alright, lead the way, Bunny. They carefully sneak through the many hallways. Bunny is careful to avoid the guards by her memorization of their patrol routes. You see a window that mysteriously opens by itself. Are we gonna defenestrate again? We make our way towards the window, to the walls, when the guards and loud horns corner us, blocking the, the window as well. Guards move aside to let the Queen of Hearts through. Oh, god damn it! Why am I here? Oh, how disappointing, Alice. Did you really take pity on an untrustworthy failure such as her? I took a step forward to snap back. Yeah! But Bunny shouted before I could. Oh! I am not a failure! Get her! Having my family bend to your meaningless tasks, never paying me the respect I rightfully deserve, changing the time when it isn't daylight savings yet! <laughs> <laughs> nice. Having the constant need of beheading everything that doesn't go your way, that is what makes you fail as an individual and as a queen. Ooh, I'm a, I'm a save. <laughs> I'm gonna save. <laughs> I don't wanna die. It's a trap. You hardly Oh, she's still going. <laughs> hardly maintain your kingdom. You are just a temperamental, overgrown brat with power you don't know how to utilize properly. Oh, I'm mad. Oh, man. She, look at her. She's mad. Bunny fin finished ranting. She's breathing heavily from exhaustion. Queen's face is growing redder and redder. Guards, fetch me an axe immediately! I must personally behead these traitors right where they're standing! But just before the guards could give the Queen a weapon, a speeding food table comes crashing towards the guards and the Queen. I quickly glance at the twins waving goodbye and hiding. The food mess gave us enough time to escape. I want the heads! That was probably the best line to record. Bunny and I finally gained enough distance away from the Queen of Hearts. We catch our breath for a moment. Cat appears before us, having a joyous laugh. What is so comical? I never knew you had a gutsy side within you, Bunny. You really let out a harsh earth to that crazy queen. It was kind of cool. Well, I thought it was about time I finally became an individual. And a fugitive. Me? A fugitive? Oh well, just crash somewhere safe. Maybe your house? You dunce! The Queen has my address! That is a horrible plan. Oh, true. <sighs> I suppose we could seek refuge with the White Queen. She is a much more reasonable ruler. And Snow White looking cutie? Heck yeah, we gotta go to her. <laughs> I haven't got a chance to take her out for some fun. Your crass antics better not ruin our chances for refuge. I couldn't help but laugh at this comical situation. That got their attention. You two are such a riot together. Yeah, we make a pretty good team. The major props to looking so cool in front of your girl, Bunny. Like, what? Bunny took several moments to compose herself again after being so flustered. In all seriousness, Bunny, I'm sorry for the mess I put up upon you all those recent times. I owe you an apology as well. Aww. For all the hurtful things I said to you and for holding malice without discussing things like proper people. 
Oh, boo boo. Cat rushes towards Bunny with a hug. Bunny is taken by surprise, but then accepts the hug back. Boo boo? Oh, it's nothing. Nothing? That's how I crawled her when we were kids. I'm offended on how you could say that's nothing. Don't worry, Alice, I won't hug your pure white girl for much longer. If you need any help charming your girl, hit me up for some advice. I suppose so. See you later, girl. Cat winks at both of us and poses coolly before vanishing. <gasps> what a strange cat. We make eye contact. <gasps> the world is starting to slow down. My heart beating heavily. Alice, you revealed to me the inner strength I had within myself. I must thank you for bringing that portion of myself out in the open. And thank you for being my lovely guide. I would have been lost inside this wonderland, yet I wouldn't mind being lost with you. How unfair. I thought I could be bold, but you are bolder. Ooh. Despite that statement, Bunny makes her way towards me. There's barely any distance between us. She boldly embraces me. I can feel her heartbeat racing. You must go back. Is that correct? I can't keep my sister waiting for long. Bunny looks up at me while continuing to embrace me. Promise you will return. Promise you will not forget me. I would never forget you, Bunny. Aww. <laughs> uh, you should have seen his face. Matthew was like, I would marry a prince if he proposed to me. Tell me. I'm not going to tell you. Please. Absolutely not. Alice. Aww. How long is forever? Sometimes, just one second. Aww, yay! Man, we're not getting them CGs, though! <laughs> ah, And we don't even know where! We don't even know where Maddie is! We haven't even seen her! Okay. Let us go from... What was it? Here? I don't think there are any options here, though, were there? Having the constant! Oh, jeez. Yeah, there weren't any other options there. Okay. Um, <laughs> Lord. Uh, Twenty one ten. Twenty one twenty seven. And it's quick save. Quick maths. Quick save. Um. Yeah, let's try from here. I failed to live up to the queen. I. So, um, defend the money. If I may explain. The reason why Bunny had no abundance sack was because they were crushed when I fell onto said artifacts. You could argue that I should be punished. Is that so? Let me ask oh. you several questions. Was it your intention to fall onto said artifacts? No, I just ran into a deep opening while following Bunny and accidentally tripped on top of the artifacts. She failed to stay hidden. Another disappointing feat. Losing artifacts would infuriate me, yet hearing how they were destroyed after a mere person landed on them shows that, that those artifacts are poor in quality. Another undeniable fact is that it was former subject Bunny's responsibility to preserve the artifacts no matter what, and she failed to perform a simple job. In all accounts, in addition to being dreadfully late, this makes Bunny entirely guilty and deserving of punishment. I couldn't change the Queen's mind. I don't think testing her any further will get anywhere except for my beheading. Never mind about former subject mm. Bunny. Um. Ooh. Ooh, I don't know. I'll do the same. See if that does anything. Whee! Whee! Okay. Um. <laughs> ah! Let's try again. I failed oh, to the... Uh, if I'm money. Oh, Alright. Guild trip. <laughs> no friends. How oh, pathetic. You act all cool and suave, but when you really are a coward that can't even do a simple task to save their friend. Only because you have some stupid grudge and fear of some red lady. That's not flattering at all. It is. It's big wheel. No. Those aren't flattering words at all, Alice. But am I wrong? If 
Fine, I'll do it. Oh, heck. Oh, no! Cat gives me the keys and disappears without a word, without a one-liner or even a smile. Oh, no! <gasps> I love you. You've showed me a wonderful land as my guide and you are pleasant company to talk to. Plus, you look really cute when you're flustered. But, 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 wait, what? Okay. Whee! Oh, it's still the same. Okay. Um, heck. Okay, what if we stay silent? I failed to live up oh, to. Whee! I hold my tongue. Making any brash remarks will cost me and possibly Bunny's life. Oh, true. Never mind about former. Oh, whee! <laughs> Bug, maybe? I don't know. It might just be... I don't know. Because I don't know how to get the good, the best endings. Let's, let's we go figure it out. Oh, heck. Oh, heck. Oh, heck. <laughs> we might have to come back to this. I'm down for that, though. We'll have to play this another time. I can do some research. Find out how to... <laughs> just read the script. <laughs> But yeah, we'll definitely, we'll definitely dip back into this at some point. I think that'll be super fun. And yes, huge shouts again to everyone. We, we, yes, we must find, we must find Maddie someday. So we have Sasha, Brian, Sarah, Oishi, uh, Sasha again with beautiful, 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 beautiful art, casting, art and coding. We see we got our friends here. We who we love, and then we got the beautiful voice actors and the beautiful soundtrack as well. And yes, all of these, all of these wonderful people, go and send them all love. We we here, man. Look at us go. We will find Maddie someday. We will return back to it. For right now, though, we shall do a be our back and return with something else for a little bit. Ooh, what could it be? Will it work? I don't know, I haven't tested it yet, but we'll find out. So, yes, thank you so much. And thank you, Avalon. And we had Melty Scrub pop by as well. Lovely, lovely, wonderful team. And yeah, we'll definitely be hopping back into this at some point. Um, see if we can figure out those routes a little bit better. It's a challenge. We're not we're not proficient at the romances yet, but soon we will be. But yes, bear with us, and we shall be back momentarily with something else. Mm -hmm. Yarby. 